Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm out in the garden this afternoon and uh, it is feeling very summery today. It is very hot and humid and there's so many bugs out, but I needed to get a few jobs done this afternoon just to keep on top of everything in the garden and all of the planting that I want to do. So you would have seen just before this clip, I planted one of the hydrangeas. Um, I just couldn't have too much audio over that because everyone was mowing around and it was just so loud so I'm filming this intro while it's a little quiet despite all of the birds around um, but other than that I really need to go down and replace one of the natives I'm going to plant a native indigo in there which is going to just be a really pretty tree and have really nice flowers and then this afternoon I also need to harvest some flowers for a special order that I need to deliver tomorrow morning. So I thought I would just film a few days of what I'm getting up to in the garden. Um, I hope you all had a really good Christmas. We had a lovely relaxing Christmas. I'll insert a few clips here of um, the day I ended up um, making heaps of food and it was so so nice. We had Scott's family stay with us and we had a really nice day, really good food, good drinks and um, played some board games and that kind of thing. But I am filming a little bit more on that and just like what we got up to in the local area, like a little travel vlog over on my Patreon channel if you want to check that out. But yeah, it was nice to have a few days off but I have a lot to do because it is the busiest time of the year with the flowers and the garden. So I'm going to be doing a lot of like maintenance in this vlog, tidying up the garden beds, planting, weeding, all of that. So I'm sure there'll be quite a few different things in this vlog. But yeah, I need to get to planting this other plant and then I'm going to grab some buckets and harvest some flowers. So this is down at the end of our property and I have quite a few native plants planted down here. It's the furthest away from the house so I want to have the least amount of effort I suppose with these plants. So they kind of fend for themselves but it's nice to just boost the habitat in a suburban area and if I have the space I may as well plant a few native plants. So I don't really use a lot of these for the flower farm, but they're just purely for me to enjoy. Um, so I'm gonna be planting one of these, which is an Austral Indigo or Indigofera Australis. It's a really small tree. It grows to about one to two meters tall. Um, and I purchased this off Jeff at Whitbird Environmental, who grows some native plants for around this area. I tried growing one of these before and I didn't have success. So I picked up a few more seedlings. So I would really like to um, grow some of these. And I think it is going to be a really nice habitat tree, particularly for all of the native pollinators around. So I'm going to replace this tree here, which is a kangaroo apple. It just hasn't really liked all of the moisture that we've had lately. So I'm going to see how this goes instead here and replace this one. Um, maybe save some of the seeds from it because I do have some of the fruit on this. So, I'm, so I might try and save some of the seeds and replant them. But yeah, this is going to go in its place. This is what the fruit looks like from the kangaroo apple. This is a more mature fruit and these are actually edible. I haven't actually tried them and I'm not really game enough to try it today, but um, yeah, I'm gonna save these. They're a really great pioneer species if you um, are wanting really quick, fast growing plants in like revegetation areas. And they're really good to bring in at the start when you're restoring an area to just have a little bit more of a canopy layer. So it's a really cool species. It grows really well around here and around Brisbane. I grew some of them up there as well. Um, really cool rainforest plant, but sadly didn't like this position.
so when I'm picking sunflowers this is actually the stage that is ideal for making sunflowers last a little bit longer the one that is blooming up over there that one is way too open and isn't really going to last that long in a vase when you harvest them at this stage when the petals are just starting to lift off the center this is going to open over the next few days and I'm going to be delivering the bouquet tomorrow so I'm going to look for one that is a little bit more open than this include ones like this in it so that I kind of have a little bit of a mix of different stages on when the sunflowers are going to open up that way the customer is just going to be able to enjoy the bloom a lot longer than one that is already open like that one the petals on that are probably just going to start to fall off there might be pollen that can come off those ones and yeah they're just not going to last as long so I really like harvesting at this stage so I'm going to find a few more sunflowers in this little patch to add to the bouquet that I'm making. So this one here is definitely a little bit too open. I do like to also just leave some in the patch for the pollinators as well. Um, but this one you can see it is almost fully open and will probably be open by tomorrow. And this is a branching sunflower that I had that self seeded itself. So I'm just going to cut off that one, say bye to that. And then I have this one which is a little bit longer that I can use in an arrangement. So these are the sunflowers I have picked. Um, these are all mainly radiance sunflowers. Um, they're just kind of your stock standard sunflower, really easy to grow and I've had a lot of luck with these. When you harvest sunflowers at this stage as well, zoom in here, um, you're, you're also less likely to get bug damage so the pollinators are obviously less likely to be able to get into the flower so this is usually when a lot of florists will harvest them um, just to make sure that they last a lot longer. You just want to make sure when you harvest these I am letting my customers know just that they will open over the next few days because you can kind of see these and obviously they don't um, they don't look like large sunflowers if you don't know what you're looking for but they will open up and be really beautiful in an arrangement so you just want to just let your customers know when you harvest it at this stage right I've got my sunflowers I'm going to harvest some straw flowers next and then maybe some dahlias depending on what I can find but I'm happy with these and I'm making a $40 arrangement or $50 arrangement but it's $40 worth of flowers there's a few other things included in that um, price as well so I'm gonna find some more flowers but I am really happy with these
These two are both from my seedling patch here. So these I started from seed, so I had no idea what the flowers were actually going to look like. I really love this one here. It is so, so beautiful. The only thing with these, um, their heads are kind of facing a little bit down, you can kind of see. So I might just have to try and prop it up in the actual arrangement, but I really love these and I'm super excited to see more of what the seedlings are going to look like because all of these are a complete surprise rather than when you actually plant the tuber of dahlias then you get the flower that is true to the tuber that you saved. So very happy with these, so happy to see some more dahlias around. I've got so many buds forming now which is exciting um, but yeah I'm really happy with these. I particularly like this one here and I'm definitely going to save this. There are so many more flowers on that plant and the stem length is pretty good so yeah overall so far so good with these and yeah hopefully we'll get some more good ones out of this little patch here. I am getting eaten by mosquitoes so I'm going to head in but I have a nice bucket behind me full of blooms. I might harvest just a few more uh, greens from the garden just to have a little bit of foliage um, and greenery in the bouquet but other than that I am done for today so I'm going to head inside and then tomorrow morning I will get up and arrange the bouquet. I'm going to have that video on my Patreon channel but I will show you the final bouquet in the morning. This is the finished bouquet. There's a lot of yellow in here. It's really nice and happy. I really like it. Um, the only thing I'm not 100% confident about is just like the placing of some of them. Like the sunflower is kind of off to the side here because it's so big and difficult to work with. But I'm going to wrap it and then write a card. Good afternoon everyone. It is now the next day and I'm just heading down to the flower farm area. The weather is not fantastic at the moment but I really want to start cleaning up this area. It's about to rain and maybe like I've got like an hour or so. Um, not that I can tell how far the rain is away from looking at it. I just looked on the radar. <laughs> Um, but I really want to get some mulching done before it does rain. So earlier this morning I finished that special order. It was a beautiful bouquet. I loved putting it together and I'm hoping they really liked it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to do like a bit of a before and after because it's going to be really hard to film while dealing with rain and weather. Uh, but I'm going to start mulching some of these pathways here. I'll show you what it looks like now and then I will do an update at some point to show you how much I get done today. So you can kind of see I have started to mulch these pathways down here and I'm just going to continue up the flower farm. A lot of them I'm just going to lay mulch directly over. Like this pathway here, a lot of this I can just kind of rip up really easily and then just place mulch over it. Where it's got larger grasses like over there, I'll probably try and dig some of those out before I lay mulch on top but I at least need to get this row done because it needs some kind of organic matter in there just because it's there's too much water in this area. The clay is just holding the water way too much um, and where I've taken out the grass already it's super muddy. So the job for this afternoon at least get this one done and maybe half of this as well. So then I've only got one, two, three to go up there. And then this is another garden bed here that I need to reclaim at some point, but I am actually more focusing on this area over here. I really want to get all of this tidied up. I'll show you from a different angle. So this all needs to come out, all of these pincushion flowers. I've got major grass problems in here really bad and then all of this there should be a garden bed that ends there but the grass is just encroaching over so I think what I'm going to do 
is maybe just pull out what I can and then come through and um, mow this garden bed maybe tomorrow after the rain just because it is quite wet but yeah I need to just give it a mow and I need to take out all of those cosmos over there because that bed is supposed to continue going out uh, and it has a lot of grass in it so I'm gonna have to do some weeding throughout there so yeah I'm gonna be busy there's lots to do lots to keep on top of in summer I really need to bring some more cardboard down to create a base or an edge here so yeah that's what it's looking like now I'm gonna get to work and I'll show you what I get done uh, at some point in the near future so dirty now. Yeah, look at the paws. Good girl. I think I'm gonna leave it at that today. I managed to get most of the two rows done, but I really need some more cardboard before I mulch the rest just because there is so much grass around. So I think I will um, maybe go to the tip and pick up some more cardboard tomorrow. But it is looking pretty good. Um, currently the pathways are higher up than the actual garden beds, which I am going to change. I am going to go and grab some more sugarcane mulch tomorrow. So I'll include that in the footage for tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to mulch all of the beds because I really need to get mulching on the dahlia beds over here. Just because they are getting a few weeds coming up. But they're really easy to pull and they really just need a little bit of mulch to help out. So I think I'm going to head inside. Um, I'm going to just pick some beans to have as a side with my dinner. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I'm going to come back, wake up early and get weeding on these garden beds and hope that I can get a lot done tomorrow. This afternoon was really sad. I found a dead lorikeet in the garden, which was really sad. I think it just died of old age, I'm hoping. So I did bury that little bird and um, gave it some flowers and some bottle brush flowers because I know it would have enjoyed that and planted a little dahlia seedling in the hole as well. So the lorikeet will still be surrounded with colour. But yeah, I think I'm going to head inside because I'm pretty hungry. I'm going to go make some dinner, harvest some beans, and uh, then I will come back out here tomorrow morning. So I didn't end up getting up early to do some weeding. I had a sleep in instead. I needed it. I was tired. Um, but this morning I've come out and just harvested some of these cucumbers. We have so many cucumbers in the fridge. It is overflowing with cucumbers. So 
I think I'm gonna have to make some pickles today, I think, um, or do like a cucumber salad or something. Uh, we do have some dill, which is nice. I might do like a little salad, but definitely going to pickle some of these. Um, but yeah, this afternoon, we're gonna get back to the flower farm, do some more work down there. I've got to head to the garden center to see how many flowers I sold there this week and probably go get some more cardboard as well. So that's the plan for today. But I need to go inside, get ready for the day because I didn't wake up too long ago and I need to go have some coffee and breakfast before the day. Scott's nervous. I'm nervous, it just looks like we're going to the tree. <laughs> okay, we have a car full of cardboard now. I always feel like we're not supposed to be doing this and we're probably not for health and safety. But it's definitely for a good cause. So, got enough cardboard. We're gonna go to the shops and we're gonna get stuff to make some pickles and then head back and then this afternoon, lots of gardening. Excuse me. What are you doing? Eating the tomatoes. Not cool. That's it, that's enough now, that's enough, thank you. Not cool.
I think I'm going to call it a day today. I have not finished everything in the flower farm, but most of it's done of what I actually wanted to get done. Uh, the only thing I didn't get around to was mulching the beds. I'll do that tomorrow or another day, and you'll see that in an upcoming video. I do want to do like a full tour of this area, so you'll see it nicely freshly mulched in a garden tour over the next few weeks whenever I can get that filmed but I'll turn you around and show you what I got done this afternoon. So this is the area that you would have seen me just mow it down and I'm just going to do a full reset of it after a few weeks when the grass has kind of died back a little bit. It'll just be easier to weed and remove anything below that black plastic. Um, the mower we were just having so many troubles with I don't know just kept on overheating. I don't know too much about mowers but I don't know we were having issues so for now I've just done as much as I could put some black plastic over it I will let this rest um, and then I've just put some cardboard over where I didn't have enough plastic but I managed to get this pathway half done as well throughout there so I'll continue that another day mulch the rest of the status bed this is probably going to be another succession of sunflowers that I'll plant in here there's currently just buckwheat growing and popping up and self-seeding everywhere. Um, this is just grass underneath that I'm letting die back. And then I did half of that pathway and then both of these and then the rest of the pathways are all pretty much done as well. So over time this will compact down and um, the pathways are actually not really this wide. The garden beds are a lot wider than this, uh, but I know kind of where they end and when I do plant, I can just plant a little bit closer to the pathway. Um, but yeah, the mulch will gradually sink down to be level with this soil, but I am going to um, put sugarcane mulch all on here. I did plant some zinnia seedlings that were really sad and some haven't survived, but I do have another succession that I will refill in these holes um, to have a full bed of zinnias. So that is going to be this bed here. It's going to all be zinnias and then I need to come and mulch this bed and put a pathway on the other side there so that I can have a few more zinnias or probably marigolds here actually. I think that was my plan. I'm gonna do marigolds, um, a half bed of those. So I hope you enjoyed this little garden with me video. Got a lot done, so I'm feeling very productive and there's a lot more to do, but we'll get to it eventually, slow and steady. Summer is always just such a busy time and these um, pathways have needed to be mulched for so long and I've just let it go a little bit too fast, so we'll get that done. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like because it really does help me out so, so much. It's completely free for you and helps me get on that magical algorithm that YouTube somehow comes up with. Um, but definitely make sure to subscribe if you want to see more garden content. And if you do want to support me, I do have a Patreon channel where you can see extra content that is definitely a lot more personal uh, than this and some other travel vlogs over there. Or if you just want to support me by buying me a coffee, you can over on my Ko-Fi page. I go through lots of teas and coffees to edit these videos, so any of your support is muchly appreciated. If you did make it this far, make sure to leave me a little sunflower emoji because the sunflowers, they're just looking so beautiful at the moment. Um, and I would love to know if you've actually made it this far in the video because it was a long one. So congratulations if you have, it's a good job. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are in the world. And until my next one, happy gardening everyone. Bye.